Most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't. What is up, YouTube? It's Julius Mines, the founder of Julius Mining Team. Today, I'm bringing you guys a ACAW tutorial. And what I'm going to be showing you guys today is um, how to block cons like these stealers when you're using like RTM tools or RTM menus. Um, if you don't know what CID stealer is, it's pretty much where like, somebody codes a tool or a menu and um, they put a code inside the, you know, the, the uh, codes. They put a code inside the code pretty much, but the code is not like a normal code for mining. It's like a code that like pretty much pulls your CID once you connect a tool. And um, when you connect the tool, what it does is like once you press connect, they send your tool, they send your CID to their email, which they can use their CID and then they can put it on like Console Crunch or um, whatever websites that you know they put public CIDs on, they can steal it and they can put it on the website, and everybody can use it, and then you know it'll get banned pretty fast. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys to do is how to actually prevent this from happening. So, because a lot of people that I play with that are modders, <clears throat> and you know guys that want to be modders, this will help you out in the future. But like this is something that's very serious and it's really annoying um, for anybody that mods because CID stores are really annoying because people that are too broke to afford a CID or just want to be assholes and put one on there just throw a CID and make you mad. Um, this will show you how to prevent that. So, we're, so you're going to need two things. You're going to need an RTM tool that you want to block and you're going to need what's called a uh, firewall which I'm sure that everybody has on their computer. What you would do is you would search up, you, you go to, what you want to do first is you're going to want to get the tool you want. So for an example, let's say I want to do um, I don't know, this tool right here is the Black Ops 1 tool. This is made by Slay HD. So what you do is you load the tool up, you click on it and load it all up. Wait for it to load. This is the Black Ops 1 RTM tool. <laughs> Sometimes you can't really tell if a tool like, like this, for example, has a CD still on it, but just to be safe, let's say like, you know, like once you click on, let's say you wanted to do the tool, you click on CCAP connect and like when you connect the PS like that, once you connect it like that, that would if they have a CID store on it, that would actually send your CID straight to their email. You don't even, you don't even have, have to attach pretty much. You can just press the connect PS3 and it will send it. But this tool's already been blocked because I've already blocked it before, so I'm using a tool that I haven't blocked before. So let's say I wanted to use a tool for um BO2 the B seven seven stats tool. Because I haven't blocked this tool yet. And let's say you didn't know that this guy had a CID store on his tool. So, like, this is his tool, and this is a very old tool, but, um, let's say this tool had a CID store on it. So what you do is you go to your search bar on your uh, main home screen on your computer. You would type in what's called the Windows Firewall. And it would search. All right, you can just put yeah right there. Windows Firewall One Advanced Security. What you want to do is click on that, and when you click on it, this is what's gonna pop up, which is right here in my um taskbar area. I'll give it a minute to load because it's pretty big, and plus it's not recording. This is making it very slow. Um, this is what firewall is. This is actually what you use to block the connection for CID stores. And every time you get a tool, you want to do this. You want to go towards the outbound rules. You want to click on that and make sure it's highlighted blue like that. And then um, I already have a lot of tools blocked. So you see right here, these are all tools I have blocked. Well, the, these things are all tools. So once it's once blue, you, you, you make sure that's blue. And what you would do next is you click on where it says new rule. You click on new rule and it will load up. Just got to give it a second load because this thing. And then what you want to do now is you want to make sure that program's checked. Click next. Uh, make sure that this is opened up. You want to click browse, and you go to wherever the tool is at. So this tool is located in what's called uh, our Tim Tools and Menus. You also have BL2, B77 Status Tool, and here's the app right here. You click on it, click open. Make sure it says it. Click next. You want to make sure that block the connection is is checked because that's what actually blocks the CID stores from getting hold of your CID when using a tool that they have one on.
So you click next again. Make sure these are all checked. Click next. And you're gonna type any name you want. I'm just gonna put B77X RTM tool blocked. And then you don't gotta put a description, you can if you want. You just click finish. And once you click finish, you're actually pretty much done. You can actually close this and then you can use the tool without getting your CID stolen. Um, I'm not on BL2, so I'm not going to connect it, but that's pretty much just how you block CID stills from stealing your CID. It's pretty simple and fast. I mean, it's pretty good technique to keep your CID long lasting because I actually have CIDs that last for months and mostly years. But <clears throat> if this tutorial helped any of you modders out, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Let's try and get this video to at least 10 likes. That would make me happy if I can get 10 likes. Um, and if you guys don't want to buy mods, too, I'll do some mods. Um, you want to have in PSN, feel free to add me. I host daily. Um, like I said, this video to 10 likes, and um, I will see you guys in my next CW tutorial video. And I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but if you guys need any help with CWs, you have questions about them, you can give me a heads up in the comment section. Say, hey, can you record, can you do a tutorial on this? And I'll be glad to do that tutorial for you because somebody else might have the same problem that you have, and they can watch the video and learn off that way. Because I'm very smart with CWs, I know a lot about them, I know how to get up, how to break PSUs without taking them apart and stuff. Um, I learned a lot from modding for a few years, and I want to give back to people like you guys that mod and show you guys how to fix them and stuff like that. So then once again, this video helped you out. Just, just do me a favor, just get a thumbs up, 10 likes, and um, I will see you guys in my next video. So yeah, peace.